Yeah, hi. Am I audible? Am I visible? I welcome you all. I hope the exam was good. I hope you guys are doing fine. Two sessions of paper. It must be exhausting for you all. If you, some of you are here, I have got three recalls uh, in anesthesia till now. And uh, I've got them narrowed down to pretty much everything. If there are any more questions, then you can tell me uh, during the course of this discussion. As we expect, anesthesia questions are always supposed to be very, very easy. Something that we have discussed both in our class as well as in the DFX. So all the three questions came from very expected portion of anesthesia. So let's start with the first question. And the first question, which of the following agents has blood gas partition coefficient similar to nitrous oxide? Now this is a correlated question. Now we have discussed the pharmacokinetics of inhaled anesthetic agents and we know that there are two aspects of pharmacokinetics of inhaled anesthetic agent. First is one that decides the solubility and another that decides the potency, isn't it? Now solubility decides the onset and duration of action. and potency decides the dose isn't it potency decides the dose if anybody is live they can just wave me hi so that i know that you guys are here i have just started the discussion so there is nothing left now this solubility is decided by an agent called as blood gas partition coefficient blood gas partition coefficient and potency or dose is decided by an entity called as MAC. Entity called as MAC. Hi Raksit. Now I have given you an order. You remember I have given you an order for them and in that order we knew that CO ISO halo always follow the same order. That means CO is less soluble than ISO, which is less soluble than halo, and CO is less potent than ISO, which is less potent than uh, halo. Okay. So this is the same. Rest of the things change between nitrous, xenon, and des. So we know xenon is fastest, so least blood gas partition coefficient, followed by nitrous, followed by desflurane. If you see in blood gas partition coefficient and if you see in MAC then nitrous has highest MAC followed by xenon followed by DES. So if you remember this table and I told you give 5 minutes of your time to this table and you will get a question from this and you will be able to solve this question very easily. So if you remember that then you can very easily divide decide that nitrous is similar to Desflurane. Nitrous's blood gas partition coefficient is 0.49 while this is 0.42 in terms of value. But we don't discuss values. We don't discuss values. So the correct answer is this. So this is fastest volatile anesthetic agent. Nitrous oxide is fastest inhaled anesthetic agent. They have very similar blood gas partition coefficient. All right. So the first question was something you could have identified if you remembered the table that I give you in the gave you in the class. All right. Next question: A patient was given 0.5% bupivacaine for supraclavicular brachial plexus block and suddenly developed hypot hypotension arrhythmias. Which of the following is the correct first line treatment? I hope the question is correct. I I had I I have got three options for recall: invasive ventilation, intralipid, soda bicarb. Fourth option: Nobody gave me a substantial answer, so I have left it at question mark. You can let me know the fourth option so that. I can fill it up later. But this is again something that has been asked in NEET also multiple times and we discussed it in the class that it's a very probable question that is the CVS toxicity of bupivacaine 
ब्यूपीवेकेन इज मोस्ट कार्डियो टॉक्सिक एल ए एंड वाई इट इज मोस्ट कार्डियो टॉक्सिक इज बिकॉज इट वाई इज इट मोस्ट कार्डियो टॉक्सिक बिकॉज इट इज हाईली लिपिड सोल्यूबल एंड इट गोज एंड अटैच टू दाईली लिपिड रिच एनवायरमेंट ऑफ माओकार्डियम दैट इज वाई इट इज हाईली कार्डियो टॉक्सिक एंड वी कांट रियली ट्रीट कार्डियो टॉक्सिसिटी ऑफ लोकल एनेस्थेटिक्स ओनली थिंग दैट वी कैन डू इज ट्राई एंड डिक्रीज द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ दिस टॉक्सिसिटी यूजिंग इंट्रा लिपिड विच इज अ ट्वेंटी परसेंट लिपिड इमर्शन यू रिमेंबर I told you the first line management is intralipid. After that, it is supportive, and no other drug is effective. So ultimately, when the patient suffers cardiac arrest, you have to give CPR, and in CPR you can use amiodarone or adrenaline as per ACLS protocol. But the most important thing is intralipid, and this is not a question that was not expected in this exam because in the last four exams of NEET and FMG, this question has been asked three times. The examiners are such just obsessed. and this was like a very highly likely question for this exam right so do you guys remember the fourth option uh, have i recalled the question correctly or is them some change i'll wait for a minute all right next question contraindications to the use of bipap now this is also something that is directly from our notes this is also something that we discussed in the part of critical care management contraindications of bipap are very easily remembered if you remember indications of invasive ventilation where you will want to put the tube invasive ventilation let's look at the option osa we know nasal bipap is one of the things that you prescribe to an osa patient obstructive sleep apnea patient so out high co2 acute hypercapnic exacerbation of copd is one of the prime indications of bipap no low po2 so if the person has low po2 he has less respiratory efforts he has compensatory emphysema then you want to use cpap so that you can improve oxygenation by alveolar recruitment but if your patient is unconscious or the patient is sedated that is when you have increased risk of aspiration and then you need to secure the airway so you will go for invasive mechanical ventilation you will go for invasive mechanical ventilation right so contraindications to the use of bipap all right so these were the three questions that i recall which i have gotten till now if there is anything else then you can let me know right now in the chat box i am here or else we can move on to the next subject if at all you feel like Uh, there is something that you want to tell me you can always tag me on the telegram channel or you are also a part of the whatsapp group uh, that all of you have joined and you can uh, just put up uh, you can try and find me there and you can just put up the message there or you can always uh, message me on instagram i am dr anshul divakar and you can always approach me if you find any more questions you remember them okay chandan what was the question about tracheostomy what was the question about tracheostomy can you elaborate the question about tracheostomy chandan See, I'm done with my question. So, if there is anything you want to add, you want to tell me, then uh, you have to tell me. Otherwise, uh, I'll hang up, and then you can start discussion of the other subject 
uh, in this live session okay no problem so thank you so much and uh, yeah all the very best just attend this session right now you have all the time tomorrow and day after tomorrow for your uh, enjoyment now till the results are out then you have all the time for your enjoyment but just make sure that you attend this discussion today all right so thank you so much and god bless you